very good morning to my dear students and welcome to our social science class so today we are going to start with the new topic that is inequality and discrimination and also on the topic of on discriminating on uh, being discriminated against so let's begin our class with this topic thank you have a nice day and god bless you a uh, very good morning to my dear students and uh, welcome to our social science class so so far we have come across a new word that is stereotype and which means fixing people into one image or a pattern right so we came across a very good example of boys and girls how boys are expected to uh, behave and how girls are expected to behave we have uh, like clarify some of the statement like girls uh, are emotional boys do not cry girls uh, are good at cooking boys are good at sports or some some statement which are uh, given in the example in the activity we have actually distributed them on basis of the gender that is boys and girls but what happened uh, stereotypes are created in such a way but nowadays everything has changed a girls is not only good at cooking but also in other activities that's why creating stereotypes will uh, create drawbacks and also some hurdles in life which will actually um, uh, not which will not allow individual to prosper in his or her field and even nowadays boys are good at dancing boys are good at cooking yeah, yeah, even our famous uh, chef sanjeev kapoor he when he is a male but he is good at cooking so this is how people are breaking the stereotypes so today we are going to start with a new chapter a new topic <coughs> that is inequality and discrimination so discrimination means what differentiating right separation discrimination inequality everything are very negative words which are not to be used and implied in other people so discrimination happens when people act on prejudice or stereotypes so when you discriminate between rich and poor Oh, sorry when you stereotype a group as rich and another as poor you tend to discriminate the rich from poor hence you will behave in a different way with both of the group differently with the rich one and differently with the poor group okay so this is how discrimination is created from stereotypes stereotype comes first after that comes the word discrimination you first of all fix them and after that you start discriminating them in terms of your behavior so uh, if you do something to put other people down if you stop them from taking part in certain activities and taking up jobs or stop them from living in certain neighborhood prevent them from taking water from the same well or hand pump or not allow them to drink tea in the same cups or glasses as others you are discriminating against them so we have came come across one more word known as dalit right the untouchables if we start stereotyping dalits as the lower caste and think them as a stingy dirty people of the society we will show such kind of behavior which is which comes under discriminating behavior uh, against the other groups if we are behaving such way with a very low caste person then we are discriminating against them okay by stopping them from taking a job even though if a lower caste person even a poor person can be a literate one can get a job but if you don't choose a person on basis of the uh, educational qualification rather you choose them on the basis of the class or caste then that's how we tend to discriminate people okay so discriminate can uh, discrimination can take place because of several reasons so these are the reasons uh, already there was a um, story of samir ek and samir do you remember i guess how samir ek and samir do were different although their names are same but they belong from different class caste and also uh, they were having different languages so for example they belong to different uh, religion this is an aspect of diversity see uh, being from different religion being from different culture is a diversity but being a rich and poor is not part of diversity being poor is because of the unavailability of resources or the lack of affordability or the lack of money in a 
for a person for example being different religion is diversity being di from different class is diversity but being rich and poor is not does not come under diversity because diversity does not encourage the situation of rich and poor okay so groups of people who may speak a certain language follow a particular religion live in specific religion regions etc may be discriminated against as their customs or practice may be seen as inferior so if you see a adibasi who are having different languages and also different from our cultures we may treat them as inferior but my students never do that because everyone is equal and everyone uh, have the uh, basic rights of um, respect and also they are to be respected by everyone because our constitution states that everyone should be treated equally before law everyone should have uh, should be treated respectfully okay so never discriminate others on the basis of their religion or region or any language just because they are not like us does not mean we will start discriminating them so next we are having about another differences between the two Samirs was in the economic background. Samir one was um, uh, rich and Samir two was poor. This difference, as you have read earlier, is not form of diversity but of inequality. Maybe Samir two was poor because of uh, his uh, situation, and Samir ek was rich because of his um, family background. Maybe they are having a lot of money, and Samir two was a very poor person or a poor guy. People who are poor do not have the resources or the money, that's why they are poor. Not because of the diversity, but of but because of the resources which are not available to them. So because of the unavailability to of money to meet their basic needs, food, clothing and shelter. That is why they are known as what? Poor people. Poor being poor is not a part of diversity. Or being rich is not a part of diversity, but it's because of what? in equality which ha which is occurring in our society so the experience discrimination is discrimination is uh, in offices in hospitals in schools and uh, various other sectors uh, they were treated badly because of their poor so the dalit boy uh, who are uh, who is not allowed to sit along with their along with his or her classmates this is how the poor are being treated. This is not because of part of the diversity, but because of the inequality which exists in the society. So some people may experience both kinds of discrimination. They are poor and they belong to groups whose culture is not valued. For example, a Dalit is a lowest caste and also Dalits are poor. So a Dalit person has to face difficulties of being a poor also and being from a low caste also. Tribal some uh, tribal some religious groups and even particular uh, regions are discriminated against for one or more of this reason. So because of being poor or from uh, coming from lower group becomes a part of inequality. Okay. In the following section, we will look at how a famous Indian was discriminated against. This will help us to understand the way in which caste was used to discriminate against a large number of people. So the next topic that we are going to discuss is on being discriminated against. So here we will learn about what or who are the categories of people who are against who are discriminated mostly right so what happened uh, people are also discriminated against the occupation they do and let us see here people are engaged in different kinds of work like teaching carpentry pottery weaving fishing farming to earn li livelihood however certain kinds of work are valued more than others so maybe all this work are valued more than the work like cleaning washing cutting hair picking garbages are seen as a tax which are less value uh, which are of less value and people who do not do this who do this work are seen as dirty or impure so the people who are doing work like teaching carpentry pottery weaving fishing are considered to be the uh, <clears throat> work which are valued more 
in comparison to the work like cleaning, washing, cutting hair and picking garbages are known as less value work and people who perform these four activities or five activities are known as dirty or impure category. So this based upon the work or the occupation this was the you know major features of the caste system you remember right caste system Vaish, uh, Brahmin, the upper caste, then we have Kshatriya, then Vaishyas and Sudras at the lowest caste. Okay. So, in the caste system, communities group of people were placed in a short uh, of leather, whether each where each caste was either above or below the other. So, Brahmin falls in the upper caste comes. Kshatriya, then Vaishyas, then Shudras. So, Vaishyas are above Shudra and uh, Vaishyas are below Kshatriya, Kshatriyas are below Brahmins and also Kshatriyas are above Vaishyas. So, maybe each one of the class are somehow, somehow sometime greater than the other or below than the other. So, those who place themselves at the top of this ladder call themselves their up themselves as upper caste so caste and saw themselves as superior caste so people who uh, kept them in the uh, upper caste call them as superior like the brahmins and the people who were located at the bottom of the ladder were known as the untouchables or the unworthy class so caste rules which were set uh, were set which did not allow so called untouchables to work to take on work um, other than what they were meant to do so for example they were only asked to pick very big garbages and remove their animals from the village so these were the work which were considered to be unworthy and valueless work and these work are mostly done by untouchables or the sudras but they were not allowed to enter the homes of the upper caste or take water from the village well or even enter temples their children could not sit next to children of other caste in school. Thus, upper caste acted in ways which did not give so-called untouchables the same right as they enjoy. So, these were the discrimination faced by the lower caste. By They were only allowed to do dirty jobs, but they were not allowed to take water from the village, which were used by the other caste, like Brahmin, Kshatri and Vashis. They were not allowed to enter into temples because the... Brahman, Kshatriya and Vaishyas go there and the children also were not allowed to sit along with the other students um, because they were not from the same caste. So these were the discrimination which were faced by the untouchables without enjoying the same level of rights like others. And this is an important term for Dalit. Let us know what does Dalit mean. So as I was saying Dalit, Dalit, Dalit or the untouchable, let us know what is Dalit. So Dalit is a term that people belong to so-called lower caste used to address themselves. They prefer the word to untouchable. Dalit means those who have been broken. This word according to Dalit shows how social prejudice and discrimination have broken the Dalit people. The government referred to this group of people as SCs. You might remember that we have got three important uh, reservations like ST, SCs and OBCs and many other reservations are there so SCs are the people who are considered to be poor or dirty people at that era they were known as untouchables and hence because of a particular person which we will study about him Dr. B.R. Ahmedkar he fought for his own community he also belonged from Dalit community and he gave this name the scheduled caste and also there's a reservations for scheduled caste in government uh, jobs and also government sectors